Hi everyone. Okay, let's do some high amp tests with the Ryupu REPT 280 cells. All right. So we have our setup with the dual six gauge cable, equivalent to about three gauge. I would say um, you could probably run like 200 plus amps for a few sec, few seconds, but uh probably only should do like 120 to 130 sustain anyway we have our vsense cables connected and we have our electronic load it's currently reading 3.342 so i would say fairly close to maybe about 80 80 plus percent charge okay and you can see the vsense is working because that little logo is there so it's is reading by vsense all right, start off with a uh, 100 watt test. Okay, very gentle. And let's see what it does. All right, 30 amps, 3.327 volts. Pretty easy, no problems. All right, let's go to 300 watts. Okay. And we're holding 3.29 volts, drawing 91.2, uh, 91 amps. So, again, very good. Okay. All right, let's go to 500 watts. Right, drawing 153 amps, holding 3.24, 3.24 volts. So... All right, not bad. All right, now we're gonna start getting into some high amps. I'm gonna go with 700 watts, okay? And hit enter. Drawing 217 amps, holding 3.214 volts. So, not quite as strong as the Eve 280K, but still pretty decent, okay? All right, now let's go to 750. Now, that last time uh, when we had run the 280Ks, we were pushing it. So let's see what it does at 250 uh, watts. Okay, so holding 3.2 uh, 3 volts, 234 amps. Eh, dipping into the 3.1 range. So, but still able to hold it, okay? Let's see if we can go to 800 watts. So yeah, this is pretty much the max and just shy of 3.2 volts, but very close to amping out the electronic load. I'm actually gonna turn it off because I don't wanna hit the limiter. So I would say 775 watts is probably going to be your upper limit and pretty good sell. I think the EVE 280Ks may be a little stronger uh, for amp load, but we're going to do a capacity test on these and see what they come up to. But yeah, still quite impressive. 243 amps holding about 3.185 volts. So pretty decent. Um, and we're going to do another capacity test on this to see what it is, but I would say for most intensive purposes, you'll get pretty good, um, um, amp loads for this. And we can see it bouncing back up, uh, to about 3.28, 3.286, probably going to bounce back up to about 3.3, you know, fairly, uh, you know, uh, fairly, uh, soon. But anyway, that is the amp test, high load amp test for the Ryupu REP280. Um, and these are certified for EV and ESS. So, so they have dual certifications, electronic vehicle and electronic uh, enterprise storage system. However, we're still going to recommend this for uh, building the batteries. I think it's a very good compromise uh, between performance and, and, and uh, dollar figure. Okay. So next video, we'll do a natural capacity test using the ZK40 tester, and we'll get the results out to you, see how they come out to.